Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, I'm working on a project that's gonna save me a few extra square feet on my boat. It's a solution, so it's kinda like a hat, kinda. On my Sea Ark, I have a cat rack, which is Sea Ark's version of a rod rack. And Sea Ark makes a great rod rack. It's very strong and it's very light. It just means it don't weigh much. The cat rack basically made it to where I couldn't even use the back deck on my boat. A couple of years ago, I made some T-bars for another YouTuber and they turned out pretty dang awesome. I implemented a hot shoe mount into them, which made it where you could put them on the boat, take them off the boat really easy, and it was kind of cool. If you ain't seen it, go check that video out. Then last year, I made some multi-bars, but at the time, I didn't even know they were multi-bars because I didn't know who Colton Howe was, but now I do. I actually met him last spring at a catfish conference in Tennessee. I even made another video where he sent me a depth finder mount and I installed it on the front of my boat, which really turned out awesome, as you can see. But when I made the first multi-bar, I made it off of pictures, and the thing I did wrong was I made every part on that rod rack half the thickness he does. And after I got them powder coated, I had about $200 into them, and they were half the thickness of his. And instead of making some more, I just got me some of his. Like I said, I have a sea arc, and it's a river cat. And if you ever looked at the back of a river cat, the little triangle pieces on the back slope down at a 45 degree angle. Now you can install a multi bar on that 45 degree angle. It's been done multiple times. But I kind of like the way they mount them on the pro cats. And on the back of the pro cats, it's level. So when they install them, they have full adjustment of that rod rack. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I'm going over to a buddy of mine, David Buffs. You've got to know who that is by now. Heck yeah. Let's get it. He has a river cat too, and we're going to use his boat to make my mounts. I got to take my boat to the shop. And first, I need to get it washed. Because I do DIYs every weekend here, and my boat kind of gets dirty. But look at it. It's filthy. It sits in here, and it gets dust all over it. And at the shop, they're going to be installing panoptics on it. Know what I'm saying? It better make me catch fish. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, let's get going. You know these steps on the front of these boats? are freaking awesome. I love these steps. I asked you a question. Yeah. If I get that live scope put on, mm -hmm. can you guarantee me it's going to be a fish catching machine? I can guarantee you that you'll get mad because you see them and you can't catch them. <laughs> that ain't no good. <laughs> so Ethan ain't no help. Is putting this garment on my boat gonna make it a fish catching machine? Can you give me a guarantee? Uh, yes. Money sir. back? Well, I can. I don't. You can. I, I can. It'll be, it'll be a give money. Give me money back. Give you money back. Yeah, guarantee. Labor. Labor. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm putting on my boat. Here's my transducer, my cornfield crappy mount. They got my name on it. David's got the same boat I do. We both got river cats. Except for his might be a little more awesome than mine. I'm not sure about that. But the back of the boat's the same. The back of the boat's the same. That's how it matters. So we're gonna use his boat as a template to make my mount. So David mounted his anchor hoist on one of these brackets that we're gonna use to mount my multi bars. Because if you got a river cat, it's got so much slope right here. See the slope on the back of this thing? I don't want my rod rack sloped like that. So we're just making brackets that'll hold the rod rack. So I had to weld that piece in down there because I ain't smart enough. Uh -huh. I ain't no brake operator, but that way I done it worked. Measured uh, one and a quarter for the first bend. It's gonna be up. Looks dangerous. Probably will be. I need lighting, better lighting back here, but it's danger fab. Don't you have a video on this? Yeah. How to make one? I need to watch it. <laughs> I need to watch it. <laughs> bend it just a tad more. Yep, it's just a little bit low. 
We got to bend it a little bit more. Safety measures. <laughs> Don't show that. <laughs> Cut that out. And this is kind of like doing what you got to do. You got to die wide enough, you got to do what you got to do. I need my buddy, this DIY man, to make me one of them. <laughs> you know how to make one. Make one faster than I can. This for fun. That looks perfect almost. Now we got to do our bin line down. That's a cool little device right there. Comes in really handy. You're going to take it up to what, 45? Yep. So it'll be 90. It's looking good. Them corners right there? Yeah. I trimmed that off so it wouldn't be sticking out past this so you wouldn't hit it. It'll basically look just like David's bracket when we're done. Then, when it's done, the rod rack will mount right on top of it. That's perfect. I like it. You don't get no closer than that. Perfect. <laughs> now all you gotta do is mirror your two pieces, draw your line, cut it. Sweat like a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? You need to wear your PPE. You don't bother me a bit. Always wear your PPE. If you don't know who David is, the last video I did with him about the steps kind of put him to work. He makes some awesome daggone steps. See it follows that same one with the boat right there, it looks good. We'll deburr it all down before we paint it. It's gonna look good. What kind of spray we're putting in here? Pylon, truck bed coating. You can get it at Walmart, it's like 10 bucks. Dang, that turned out good. That matches that boat pretty dang good. Now we just need to get some bolts. But those rod rats turned out awesome. I really do like them. And me and David went fishing the next day and tried them out. And they worked awesome too. You see on this video right here how David's standing on the back of the boat reeling in that fish? Well, you couldn't have did that with that cat rack on my boat. I'm just saying. 
So I did save square footage on my boat. And that was the whole point. That's a decent fish. Yeah. That's decent. I'm going to let this one hand. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. We got it. We got it. I did it one handed. You know, you're a good YouTuber when you never fish one handed. Hold on. I can't even see my camera. Oh, yeah. He ain't bad. It might be 30. That's a good fish right there. Hey guys, if you ain't been on my channel before, go over and check out my channel. And I've got a long list of DIYs. And if you go look, you might find something you like. And if you do, click subscribe and ring the bell. Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? That way YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next video.